this uh, effectively means someone who's not domiciled here, i.e. the UK is not their permanent home, and they were not born here. Typically this will be um, someone who was born, who, a, a foreign person born in another country who's now come here, but it could be someone who was born abroad but had a UK domicile of origin, for example, because their parents were living abroad for a while. Um, what this doesn't include are people who were born here with a domicile of origin. For people who will have been here for 15 tax years come the 6th of April, they'll no longer be able to claim the remittance basis of taxation. The remittance basis is a system of taxation where a UK resident non-domiciliary can keep their non-UK income and gains outside the UK tax net unless and until they're brought to the UK. People like that, once they've been here for 15 years after the 6th of April, will pay UK tax on their worldwide income and gains on an arising basis. People becoming deemed domiciled on the 6th of April 2017 should consider before then requesting trust distributions if, if there's an offshore trust that they're a beneficiary of to limit the UK tax on those distributions. They may also want to consider setting up their own trust before the 6th of April if they're not already deemed domiciled for inherit inheritance tax purposes under the current rules, i.e. they've been here for 17 out of the last 20 tax years. After the 6th of April, they also have the opportunity to do a couple more things which could be beneficial, including um, rebasing their assets for capital gains tax purposes to limit the future tax that they would pay when they sell those assets. And also, if they have offshore funds which are currently mixed, mixed capital income and gains, they have the opportunity to segregate those so that they can then bring the capital into the UK without paying UK tax on it. Non-domiciliaries who've been in the UK for less than 15 years, come April, will continue to be treated as non-domiciled for all UK tax purposes. They should be considering on an annual basis whether they should be claiming the remittance basis um, and after they've been here for seven years you have to pay, uh, start paying to claim the remittance basis so they might need to do some sums. They should consider segregating out their capital and income and gains and they should also consider setting up a trust because um, they continue to be outside the inheritance tax net until they've been here for 15 years. The main message for people thinking of moving to the UK is that they should take advice well in advance of coming, preferably a tax year in advance. They might want to consider things like creating clean capital that they can bring to the UK without paying tax on it in future, segregating their bank accounts, they may want to create a trust, and they may want to rebase their assets for capital gains tax purposes.